Hello and welcome to High Yield Study. Today we'll be discussing a very common and very important topic, androgenetic alopecia. Androgenetic alopecia is a genetically predetermined androgen dependent progressive thinning of the scalp hair which follows a unique pattern therefore it is also known as pattern hair loss. The etiology revolves around two main factors the genetics the genetic makeup the chromosomes the DNA of an individual and second is the androgen. The pathogenesis revolves around three main factors number one is the hair cycle alterations as we all know that there are three phases in the hair cycle the anagen or the growth phase during which the hair grows second the catagen or the transition phase and third telogen or the resting phase so in androgenetic alopecia most of the hair which are in the anagen phase shift to the phase of telogen or the resting phase this is the first thing that is happening second thing is hair follicle miniaturization as we know the word mini means small so miniaturization means the hair follicle is getting smaller and so is the hair shaft the third thing which is happening is hair follicle microinflammation and perifollicular fibrosis. This is actually again hampering the hair growth as are the first two factors. So the three factors hair cycle alterations, hair follicle miniaturization and hair follicle microinflammation and perifollicular fibrosis combine to produce what is called androgenetic alopecia. The alopecia differs in males and in females. The main difference is the preservation of the frontal hair line in females, which is lost in males. The second thing is that in males, areas of complete baldness can be present, whereas in females, complete baldness is rare. Mainly, the hair loss is in a diffuse pattern, and there are always some hair in each area. Third difference is the degree of miniaturization is prominent in males and it is less prominent in females. And lastly, androgenetic alopecia is more common in males and less common in females. Now in males, this pattern hair loss can manifest itself in two patterns. The typical one starts in the temples and the crown whereas the anterior pattern is defined by the hair loss which starts at the front and slowly progresses towards the back so in females and this alopecia in males can be graded by a grading known as norwood hamilton grading of male pattern alopecia norwood hamilton grading now in females the three patterns of the pattern hair loss are number one is the Hamilton male pattern type which resembles the male pattern alopecia there is thinning associated with bitemporal recession number two is the Ludwig's pattern in Ludwig's pattern there is diffuse thinning of the crown area with preservation of the frontal hairline and in the third Olsen's Christmas tree pattern there is thinning and widening of the central part of the scalp with breach of the frontal hairline. So the three patterns are Hamilton male pattern type, number two Ludwig's, number three Olsen's Christmas tree pattern. Now grading of female alopecia, severity of the female pattern alopecia, we are having two grades or two systems. First is the three point Ludwig scale and second is the five point Sinclair scale. Now in treatment we are having some evidence based treatment which actually work we are having the proof that they work and they have worked in the past. So the evidence based treatments are 
minoxidil solution, finasteride tablet, hormones and surgical procedures. These are the four treatments which actually work. And in the non-evidence based treatment for which we are not having any study or any proof that they work are lots of lots of um, like nutrients minerals amino acids marine extracts hibiscus sulfora caffeine melatonin retinoid cyclosporine low level laser aminexel beta esterol green tea zinc pyrethron steroid botulinum toxin vitamins trace elements but we are not having any proof that they work or not so thank you for listening to this and have a great day.